Hey guys, so welcome back to another quick form video. So today we're doing the gaming test on the new Samsung Galaxy A6. This is on Boost Mobile, of course. So this is rocking three gigs of RAM, three and thirty-two gigabytes of ROM. Um, so uh, it does have an octa-core processor. So let's go ahead and dig into it and see what we get. So here we go, guys. These are the games I'll be testing out today, as you can see right here. Um, Sonic Boom, Breakneck, Asphalt 9, and just some of them. So let's get into it, guys. Let's try Sonic Boom 2. Um, so a lot of people always have issues with this this game. So let let that download right, real quick. See how well it does. Let's lower the volume a little bit. Uh, put some random number, doesn't even matter. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and try to play it and see how well it does. Hopefully it doesn't lag up at all. But so far so good, it looks like there's no problem with it, it's catching up some speed. Definitely doing better than the LG K30 so far, yeah, look, look how smooth that is, so that's that's very nice to see around this is where the other one would just flop, but we're talking about this phone, so let's see how well it does. Explosions, everything looks good so far. Really, a little bit of drop frame here and there, but it's not that bad or really noticeable, to tell you the truth. Cool, cool. So get that. Whoa. Oh, you have to adjust it with your phone. Very, very nice overall. So as you can see, everything's running smooth. So definitely you can play Sonic Boom 2, Sonic Dash, whatever they call it. Look at that. Smooth as butter. Uh, whoo! It's definitely smooth. That was my fault. I tried to do it too early. Well, there you go, guys. That's as you can see. Definitely, this is worth getting for a kid that just wants a game. Anybody really? So, if you have some grandkids or just your son or daughter, whoever wants to use this phone for gaming, you can definitely do that. So, let's go. Uh, deeper on it. it does have a gaming mode so you can adjust the frame rate and all that stuff but uh let's go into the next game did we close it out yep so let's go into asphalt 9 everybody wants to see asphalt 9 i do too with this phone uh, so let's see how well it can handle it so there we go it sounds like it's fully loaded it didn't take that long which is good so here we go let's just doesn't even matter Alex. i just keep putting random numbers Da -da -da. All right, here we go. Let's play. Let's see how well we do in the first race. Hopefully you guys like the lighting better. I finally went out and got better lighting for the studio. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, they weren't cheap, but uh, I think they're worth it. All right, so let's see how well it looks. I mean, let's see if you can handle Asphalt 9. So, so far, so good. So you can see just drifting. But I think everybody at this point knows how to play this game. It's really simple. Just as you keep going, just hit NOS and then of course hit the drift button. But as you can see, it's fast paced. So overall, um, some phones might not be able to handle it. But this one definitely looks like it can. So let's go take the left. Or take the right. Share one. Uh, so let's take this route. You can see you can just change the routes. Hit NOS. And here there's two options. Same thing. So let's just take it. But overall, everything looks buttery smooth. And you can hit NOS as well and just keep going. So 
let's get the nitrous but very very smooth definitely uh, playable and really good settings too so look at that guys perfect so that's full nine definitely no lag at all uh, really no drop frames at all either so let's see another one let's go ahead and do a little bit more let's see PUBG everybody wants to see PUBG so let's go ahead and see this might take a little bit to load but we'll go and get to that point when we go I am a pro I've played this game many times wow look at that it's actually medium settings so that's something that I like to see right there like I said I was thinking it was gonna be low a lot of budget devices are in low this one's actually medium so that's gonna be nice so definitely I would say it's go for PUBG let's just see how well it handles hopefully there's no lag or anything but having a medium settings is amazing all right, so here we go, guys. Now that the match is ready, um, we're just getting into the airplane. So let's get into it and see. So as you can see, medium settings definitely, definitely better than low settings like most uh, budget phones that I review on this channel have. So I'm very impressed with this phone. Like I said, uh, overall, I'm liking it so far. So let's go ahead and see where should we land. Here we go. We can actually jump, but I actually want to wait a little bit. Probably go try to go to a crowded area. Um, just so I can find some people. So you see it stutters a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's all the people jumping off the airplane here and there. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we find. So like I said, there is a little bit of stutter here and there, um, drop frames, but it's basically from loading the game. No, oh, there we go. Here we go. It's loading. So it is loading. The map and everything so hopefully we can find some stuff and uh, find people too so let's see if the frames get better now that we're actually down here all right got me a bulletproof vest a helmet I just need some weapons nothing here oh, looks like something's in here there we go got lots of weapons now no clothes, no clothes just yet, but, uh, all right, so, looks like we should be okay. All right, so let's find somebody, so I can see, like I said, here you go, you can tell the graphics are definitely improved here. Let me turn up the volume a little bit so we can kind of hear if anybody cross up on us. Oh, look, there's a guy, whoa. Whoo, look at that. Let me just finish them off with a shotgun. There's more people around here, so. There we go. That's why I like coming down here. It's a firefight. Um, very nice. Come on, guys. Let's get into it. Let's see who else is in here. But overall, as you can see, it's buttery smooth playing this game. Not having any drop frames or anything like that. Let's get the machete. Oh, here we go. There's a guy in there. There we go. So got that. I believe there's more people in here, but overall, guys, as you can see, it's buttery smooth on here. Me, I know I kind of suck at this game. I haven't played it that much, but uh, I'm kind of looking through a camera, so it is a little bit more difficult for me to kind of see and play at the same time. But there you go, guys. It's buttery smooth. So definitely probably one of the better phones, budget ones from Boost Mode that actually came out that I would say is actually well optimized to play PUBG like I said some other some other of the other phones are just more lagging but overall it's pretty cool guys as you can see I did get some kills so let's end it there and uh, let's do one more game so overall that's very nice uh, another one that's probably pretty good let's go ahead and do modern combat 5 uh, this this game is kind of high intensive uh, some of the phones that I try usually do fail at it. So let's go ahead and hope that this one does good. All right, guys. So now that it's done downloading, um, you know, it took forever. It's a big file, almost 800 megabytes. But there we go. It's it's done. So now it's just finishing up the last loading part. And we'll get into this game. Like I said, a lot of phones have a lot of trouble 
with this game just because it's pretty intensive and you'll see it in just a sec. Um, so here we go, let's get into it guys and see how well it does. All right, so here we go under, we're underwater. Looks okay, so let's go into the actual shooting part. So as you can see, no drop frames or anything. Very, very nice. Crouch. Somebody should pop up here. We got explosions and everything, and everything's a-okay. So like I said, everything looks fine here. Um, usually around this part with all the explosions and everything is when we have issues going into it. But nope, look at that, running through butter. So honestly, what can I say about this so far is it's probably the best device to actually game on. Um, if you want to get it at a budget, like I said, Boost does sell for $350. It's on sale for $200, um, $250 right now. So it's $100 off. And then with uh, Vets 2018, you can get another $50 off discount. That's how I got mine. And overall, I'm liking it. Um, especially if you like gaming, I know a lot of people like gaming on their phones, some people don't. I, I do a little bit of it. So here we go, as you can see there's no issues whatsoever. Look at that, pretty good frames I would say. Drop a bomb, see how well that looks. There you guys, you can see buttery smooth, no drop frames again. So overall, I think it's very, very nice, guys. Look at that. No issues whatsoever. So overall, what must I say about this, guys? After doing a couple games now, um, and all these games I've actually played already, so they are all pretty good. Um, no issues whatsoever. What can I say? It feels smooth to hold the phone, so, you know, the grip. Um, I do like that the speaker's on the top right here, so, you know, cover a lot of phones, even the OnePlus 6T. When I was playing with it, I noticed that once you put your hand right here, it muffles it, and I wouldn't think... Samsung uh, for actually putting the speaker on the top where you can actually play with no interruptions. I think that's a smart move. Probably the best feature on a smartphone out there. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment and subscribe. This is the gaming review of the Samsung Galaxy A6 from Boost Mobile. Like I said, you can actually pick it up for $200 right now with all those promos that I discussed. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if it's worth it, I think it, actually it is worth, worth it. The battery's pretty good as well. Um, I had less than that when I started, so... Very nice, guys.